go ahead and start because we some of you are here for the county commission meeting and that won't be till 10 so uh, we apologize about that part of it but we're just certainly uh, glad that each and every one of you are here this is one of the enjoyable things that us as elected officials get to do is when we get to either welcome back some of our members that we've served with before or we get to welcome new uh, citizens here in our community and that's what we're here today for there's five that we will install uh, judge boatwright will be doing the uh, actual oaths uh, one uh, uh, returning school board member and two brand new school board members and then also one returning county commissioner and one brand new county commissioner so uh, hopefully it's going to be an enjoyable occasion and, and uh, memories that we can uh, uh, carry on in our uh, as we progress in our lifetime i do want to thank uh, just take a moment thank uh, several groups or individuals i have to start out of course first with my staff uh, i'm blessed that i have a good group of people that really care about doing the job and doing it right and uh, their dedication and their hard work uh, is immeasurable uh, so i do want them to know it also when you add about 175 and i see a couple of my members that are here that are election workers that you see during uh, early voting or you see on election day in your precincts and there's like i said about 175 to sometimes 200 and between all of them i think we do the very best that we can to present uh, and provide elections to the county here uh, are we perfect of course not but you know what we're not still counting like some places are so uh, we're doing something right so again to all of those i, I want to say thank you also uh, would be remiss if i didn't thank our uh, canvassing board members uh, judge morris who is our chairman of the canvassing board and she couldn't be here this morning she usually is uh, but she's been doing this since the year 2000 so she went through that uh, situation that we had all of us that were alive back then that remember 2000 and, and so she's done it every year since then every election uh, also we have uh, alternates and that is uh, judge boatwright is always willing and able to take uh, her place when needed uh, i want to thank uh, county commission chairman bill pickens because bill stepped forward this year and was on our canvassing board as a county commission representative and he did a great job and we also had a citizen in our community that was our alternate and that was jump mr john hodge so between all of them uh, I, I just want to say thank you uh, and i can't leave out our county uh, canvassing board attorney george young george has done it for the last couple of elections now and we seem like we've got a great fit together and uh, so between all of them, I just want to say thank you for uh, carrying on and doing the very best job that we can. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for candidates. Those of you that have been through these elections know exactly what I'm talking about. The time, the effort, the money, and there's an S word, <laughs> stress. Uh, if you're like most of us, all the campaigns that I've ever talked with candidates about or run, uh, some days you're up here, you're on top of the mountain, and then there's some days that you feel like the mountain's on top of you and that's just the way it is so again candidates thank you for doing it whether you're in our audience today or you may be watching online and maybe weren't successful uh, it allows us to do the american way and that is to to let our voices be heard and our choices made so thank you and finally to our voters uh, most all of you that know i was really disappointed in august when we're talking 27 percent turnout you know that's nothing to, to be excited about and i was really down about it till i looked at the state average and the state average was 25.8 so i'm like okay that means there's a pile of counties that are below us so made me feel a little bit better but you know what in november you all came out and the public did we were just a little bit less than 53 percent again we got a ways to go but that sure is better than the 27 percent so uh to our voters thank you for taking the time and effort you know one of the things that we do is we try to give you the three methods of opportunities to vote you can do it by mail you can do it uh, early voting or you can do it as i call traditionalists on election day and this past november we had uh, 12 and a half thousand people that came and voted in one of our 21 locations around the county and so uh, thankful that i know the candidates sure are thankful that we got the participation that we did last comment i'll make is this please remember the right to vote it's a privilege that we all have been given and i never want you to forget the fact that there were men and women that have served over the years 
that allow us to come today to a, a great facility like this to be able to meet, to enjoy each other, and not have to worry about you know somebody putting a gun to our head or tanks in the streets or things like that. That's what America is all about. So I always. Thank you. So I always try to finish up with this when we have elections. Please think about it, and as you go to vote, either do so in honor or in memory of a veteran, because that's why we're here today. At this time, I'm going to ask uh, County Commission Chairman Mr. Bill Pickens to come and do our pledge, and then, and then I'm going to ask my dad to come forward and lead us in our opening prayer. Okay. Thank you, Charles. Please stand if you're able. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Will you please bow your head? Holy Father, truly we thank you for blessing us giving to us all of the joys of life, knowing that you're the source of our life. Father, in a very special way, I pray for this nation. And I pray that we will never forget that we're to be a nation under you. We have so many things to thank you for and especially that we live in this nation, as Charles said a moment ago, and have the privilege to decide the leadership of our nation. May this continue. And Father, we're thankful for our local supervisor of election, his staff, who has done such a tremendous job bringing an election has certainly been successful. Continue to pray for them. And now, Holy Father, in a special bless those that will be taking the oath of office. May they have the desire to do your will. And Father, help them that they may have the gift of wisdom to be able to make decisions that will be beneficial and will give growth to this county and to this area. And Father, help them to remember the people they serve. May they keep in mind their needs and meet them to the best of their ability. And help them to have the courage to speak when needed and the art of listening. And now, give them the vision that they need for the future, and help us all to be faithful, to enjoy this life, and to live it in such a way that the blessings of eternal life will be ours. In Christ's name, amen. We are honored today to have uh, the Honorable Judge Joe Boatwright, uh, County Court Group 1, and he will be here to do the actual uh, swearing in the oath. Since we do have two or three that are new, uh, please keep in mind when we call your particular race, we want you to bring up your family and your friends, supporters and all, and come around as you take the oath. And then at the end, after uh, the judge is finished, then we usually let you uh, introduce everybody that you want to or say whatever you'd like to do. So just uh, keep that in mind, and we'll do that, and that way it will go uh, just as orderly as we possibly can. So at this time, as your program says, we're going to go in district order. So, of course, District 1, and we had one uh, race, and that was for the school board. And so I'm going to ask... Uh, the school board elect member, Holly Pickens, and her family to come forward. 
uh, and judge, if you will, and we'll get started. Solemnly swear or affirm? I do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support, protect, and defend. That I will support, protect, and defend the Constitution and government of the United States. The Constitution and government of the United States. And of the state of Florida. And of the state of Florida. That I am duly qualified. That I am duly qualified to hold office under the Constitution of the state. To hold office under the Constitution of the state. And that I will well and faithfully perform. Um, first, I would uh, just like to thank Judge Boatwright and also um, Charles Overturf and his whole staff for being so welcoming and organizing this and um, counting all those petitions. Um, I'd also like to introduce my family and a dear friend. Um, first, I have my oldest son, Ian Pickens, and his wife, Shanae Pickens. And my granddaughter, who was a surprise this morning, Isabella. Um, her little sister had to go to daycare, but she got to come. Um, so that was special. Um, and then I have my youngest son, Bobby Pickens, and his girlfriend, Victoria Sims. And then I have um, my sister-in-law, who is really my sister, not just a sister-in-law, um, Suzanne Pickens. And um, then I have, of course, my wonderful and extremely supportive husband, Bill Pickens, and um, who never misses a day telling me that he loves me, um, even when we both had very stressful days. Uh, and then I asked, you know, family is family, and sometimes you don't always get to choose family. But friends, you choose. And um, Veronica Glover Bacon, uh, she was part of my very beginning in Crescent City. She played basketball for me. She played uh, volleyball for me. And um, then she taught my kids. I taught her kids. Uh, now we're just friends. And I value her um, wisdom. And um, she's still teaching, so she uh, is probably going to hurry back to those wonderful children. Um, but I want to, I just want to say thank you to all of you, because without um, support, it would be very, very difficult to be an elected official. And um, I just say thank you. I'm honored. I'm privileged to be a school board member. I take my voting very seriously, and I promise that I will always seek guidance and wisdom when I make a vote. And... Um, I'll always put the children, their families, and our community and our employees first. May God bless you. Okay, moving on to District 2, we had one race with County Commissioner, and so we're at this time happy to welcome Leota Dillon Wilkinson and her family and all, and Judge, if you'll come forward and we'll get her inducted.
that I will support, protect, and defend the Constitution and government of the United States. The Constitution and government of the United States. And of the state of Florida. And of the state of Florida. That I am duly qualified. That I am duly qualified. To hold office to the Constitution of the state. To hold office under the Constitution of the state. And that I will well and faithfully perform. And that I will well and faithfully perform. The duties of Putnam County Commissioner District 2. The duties of County Commissioner Putnam County Commissioner District 2. Of which I am now about to enter. Of which I am now about to enter. To help me God. To help me God. Thank you all for being here today. Um, thank you to my family for supporting me. I'd like to introduce, this is my husband, Eugene. Uh, we were high school sweethearts. I went back uh, recently and uh, did a little bit of a reflection after uh, November 8th, and I wrote in my yearbook, I love Eugene forever. And here we are, 34 years ago. Uh, my son and his three daughters, Thomas, Peyton, Mackenzie, and Lindy. Timothy, my, my youngest son. My dad, who's a Vietnam veteran. Uh, Chuck, uh, my sister-in-law, who I love very much. She's like a sister to me. Lori and her husband, Greg, and their granddaughter, Adeline. And then my very best friend from, high, from uh, elementary school, Shamberly Payne, and uh, her son, Jameson. And uh, Shamberly, uh, I remember making a pinky promise with Shamberly when we were in uh, elementary school saying we're going to be friends forever and so here we here we are and she's been through my journey of life for the last 52 years uh, 42 years she's been a part of it and uh, I can't, couldn't ask for a better friend in my life when I started this journey um, I wasn't quite sure you know how hard of a journey it was but we we worked hard we persevered we did everything we could and I can assure you that as your newly elected county commissioner, I will work hard for you. I will do everything I can to the best of my ability to serve you as citizens of Putnam County. And I thank you all for your support and, con and continued prayers. One of the things that was most humbling for me was God sent, tent, sent messages to me at the time I needed them the most. And I didn't understand, but this walk has brought me a lot closer to God. And it's been, it's been very uplifting and very humbling because when you're going around Publix and you turn the corner and somebody you've never seen in your life looks at you and said, I've been praying for you, it really touches you. And um, some, so I know many of you have given me prayers, prayed for, prayed for me, and that's something that I will never forget. So thank you all for, for everything, and uh, we look forward, hopefully, to the next four years of good, doing good things in the community. Thank you. Now we'll move on to District 4, and we did have two races in this. We're going to start out with the school board, and we're going to ask Linda Wagner, the newly elected school board member, to come forward with family and friends. And Thank you all so much for being here. Um, 
this is just a wonderful ceremony and I, I just traditions and this is certainly um, one that I will treasure going into the future. I do want to thank a few people, um, particularly Mr. Overturf, being a, a very green to politics and elections, this being my first attempt. Um, I was very thankful for, for just the general guidance and your entire office is so helpful. Uh, I really appreciate that. Um, I do have a few people here with me. Um, my husband on the left, this is Tom Wagner. Uh, he deserves a lot of credit as I was gone a tremendous amount of time this year with the campaigning. I uh, sort of had a learning curve to get caught up and know what to do in a campaign and where to be and it just was um, a wonderful, wonderful experience for me maybe. Uh, but for him being alone a lot this year, he's been such a rock and has heard me, you know, he's, he's been there for me since when I would be um, insecure maybe or overwhelmed and he would listen and that's a wonderful, wonderful thing to have when you go home at night. Um, next would be my, my office manager, Crystal Williams, who has also held down my office while I was gone a tremendous amount and will continue to do so. Um, and my friends Amy and Tommy Stanley from Melrose, they've, Amy was sort of the one who put the bug in my head about running for school board. And I have to say thank you for that because I'm, I'm very thankful to be standing here today. Um, and, and she and Tommy have really been supportive emotionally and in every other way. So anyways, I'm glad you, the, that all of you are here today. I do look forward to serving on the board. Um, this has been historically a good board and I, I really hope to add to that just bringing some new uh, insights, some new perspectives possibly and we'll make sure that everything, it's all about the children and it's, it, the children truly are our future as cliche as that is, they are, they have to be well educated, well rounded kids and Putnam County it's just, it's just so important that all of our decisions um, are based on on the children and their future. So um, anyways, I appreciate it. Thank you for coming today and, and I'll, uh, I'm always available for anyone who needs to, to talk to me. Moving to the other in District 4, a returning third time. Hey, if you and your family want to come on up, we'll let the judge administer your oath and give you an opportunity to speak. Well, thank you, everybody. Let me introduce 
my family to you, and this is just part of it. We're a pretty big family. Um, Pastor Mike McCulley at Bethel Assembly of God is where I attend church at and have for the past 30 years, something like that. Uh, <laughs> you kind of lose track a little bit. My wife, Linda, um, who is my rock, will be celebrating 39 years of marriage this coming uh, February. Her mother said we'd never make it. We did. We did. We were determined. We never agreed at the same time to break up Nantes. Her mother, Dottie Roundtree, who is a mother to me, who has really been supportive of, of me and our family. Her and her husband, when I first married Linda, they would party on Thursday night or get together just because it's Thursday night. Whoever does that, right? Uh, they did that. They forgave the family if you had a little stumbling block. And I thought, how weird is this? But they taught me how to be a better man and a better husband and a good Christian person as I attend this road. Um, my, one of my twin sisters, Amy, right here, my oldest sister, who I always say she's older than me, she's always extremely older than me, my sister Sherry, and her husband, Jack, Gerald, and uh, you might remember Sherry from being up here at the Cardiac Rehab Center in Putnam, and Jack was the fire department here in Palaka. It gives me great honor to stand here today. Um, I grew up here. My grandfather came from Plattsburgh, New York, to start Hudson Pulp and Paper um, Tissue Converting Site with Danny Martinez, um, one of our great men of the community here. Um, my other grandfather, uh, my mother's father, built some of the mill houses here with Don McNabb, if you can remember that back years ago. So we've had a long history here. I went to school here at the Catholic school, Mosley Elementary, then went to the middle school, the split sessions, for those of you who can remember, you went in the morning and went in the afternoon. Placa Central High School and graduated from Placa High, uh, the second graduating class from what we call the new high school. It's not new anymore. Attended St. John's River Community College back then at State College now. I was homeless, slept in my car. I didn't want to live under the rules. We had a, my sister and I had a really rough life, I'll be honest with you. But I always told, I always said this, my mother passed away when she was 32 years of age. She was a struggling nurse student down in Daytona. She was raising two children. And I always said, once I got elected, if I can make that person's life better, then everybody else's life gets better. And that's an easy fix right there. So when I make decisions sitting in my seat, it's based on that person right there. Um, not every decision do I like to make. Some of the decisions I wish I did better. You always have that drive home, right, Commissioner, where you go, should have said this a little better, could have done that a little bit better. But we do the best we can. But the best thing we have going for us is people in our community who pray for us, who lift us up, who might say, Mayor, didn't like what you did, but you're doing okay. Okay, let me talk to you about that. That's what we need. We need a lot more of this, and we need a lot more of you involved in this. The campaign was pretty rough this year. Let's, let's, we all know that. But we persevered. We took the high road. We had, I'm going to say this publicly. I was impressed. Your first run out, you took the high road when it was easy to I'm going to say this because I'm from Francis. It was easy to get the Barden out, right? Or the Francis out and go, you're not going to treat me like But we didn't do that. We persevered. And God had our back. And I'm going to tell anybody out there, if you run for any position and you don't have God backing you up, I don't know how you get through it because I couldn't do it without that. Because there are times you come home and you're on top of that mountain, Charles. And the next day by 5 in the morning, you are covered up under it, and you wonder what happened in that time frame, you know? But we live in a great county. We live in the most giving county that I've ever, I've only really kind of lived here, so I don't know anything else. But we give. This community gives. We give to everybody who has a need, and I'm excited about that. I'm excited about the next four years. So thank you very much. I'll end. It's hard for me to end, kind of like that Baptist minister that wants to and two or three times before he's done. But, you know, I do want to thank you. I covered your prayers. I pray for the commission often. Please join me in that. 
and join with all your elected officials. They want to serve you. You know that. I know that. There's good men and women in this community that are serving. Pray for them and be a part of their community. Thank you so much. God bless you very much. Thank you. Now we'll move to District 5. Had one race in that, and that was for a school board. And so I'll ask Mr. Phil Leary and family and all to come forward and judge if you'll. Well, good morning, and what a, what a fantastic crowd and a great morning. I um, want to introduce my family first. Um, my daughter, uh, Caroline, who was uh, also my campaign treasurer and manager and kind of kept me in check when I didn't want to be. Um, my oldest granddaughter, Addison. My next oldest granddaughter, Layla, and my son-in-law, John Parker. Uh, I have five granddaughters. The other three could, couldn't make it. They're a little too young. Uh, and then I uh, want to make a special... Um, reference to my mom who, uh, due to health reasons, wasn't able to be here today, but uh, she taught school for 25 years in Putnam County. Um, my grandfather, who I'm succeeding uh, about 45 years later, who also served on the school board uh, from 1948, I believe, to 1960. Um, so just want to say we have a lot of challenges ahead, you know, uh, for the school district and uh, as I said during my campaign, you know, with hard work, dedication, and effectiveness, we can make those challenges great opportunities. And so I look forward uh, to uh, serving and uh, bringing a, a maybe a little different paradigm to the school board. And uh, anytime anybody needs to talk to me, I'm, I'm available, and I really look forward on behalf of my five granddaughters and all of your kids and grandkids uh, of uh, really moving our school district forward. Thank you. Again, thank you for being here this morning. I know that these uh, officials that have just been sworn in really appreciate it. Uh, it's something that you always remember, no matter how many times that you get up here. Uh, so thank you for that. If you don't mind, let's give them one more round of applause. And at this time, I'm going to ask my friend, Mr. Terry Wright, who's pastor at uh, Grace Fellowship, to come and finish this up with a prayer. Can we all stand, please? Well, Father, thank you for a wonderful ceremony. And Lord, we want to call these names before you right now and ask that you specifically bless them. Holly, Leota, Linda, Larry, and Phil. Lord, they spent a lot of time getting to this point. Thank you for providing their health and the resources to cross the finish line. And now, Lord, we pray for wisdom for each of these folks and good health. Father, bless their families. Keep them safe. And Lord, we thank you for allowing us to live in Putnam County, Florida. No place else, Lord, we'd rather be. So thank you for that blessing. Now, Lord, be with everyone here. Bless them. Give them a phenomenal day. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.